Alright, what's going on everybody? I have a UU battle here and it's against Flossy Flossy, so let's get started. So she uh I met her on um the Zat chat from I met Endon on, I believe. Uh let me just start talking about the battle here because I am just getting way behind. So I'm gonna lead off with my Sableye, just trying to get some will o wisps will o wisps off on uh whatever I can, and she she sends out her Linoon, Linoon or whatever, and she knows it's not going to do anything because of the... And wow, I'm super way behind. Anyways, let me just... You guys obviously saw what happened. So, um, he's going to... He, she's going to s send out her um, chandelier. And she's going to start with... Um, I was thinking she was going to use substitute, so that's why I went with the taunt. And she goes with fire blast and uh, really just almost annihilates my um, Sableye, but I live with one HP, which is amazing. I go for the Nightshade, but it doesn't really, it's not significant at all. Then she kills me. I send out my, is it hot in here? Or whatever. And um, <clears throat> she sends out her Snorlax, and now and I'm like, okay, so I'm not going to do anything here. So I'm going to send out my Hitmontop, and she's going to set up the curse, even though I got the Intimidate on her. It doesn't really matter on him, him, her, whatever. Uh, I'm gonna go for the toxic just to, I don't know, get the toxic off, and she's gonna go with the body slam. And doesn't really do anything, and uh, I, even though she's got the defense up, I'm gonna go with the close combat, and it does pretty much a good chunk amount of damage. But, now that my defense and special defense is down, I am, I am down, it looks like. So, um, here I think I switch, I switch here, I believe. I switch. I do switch, and I go into. I go back into. Is it hot? Because I think he's gonna go for the body slam. But no, she t she takes out um, Snorlax and goes back into uh, her chandelier. And now it's a speed battle. Whoever's faster, and it's obviously she is faster than my. Uh, her chandelier is faster than my chandelier. And yeah, as you can see, I was gonna go for a substitute. Um, I don't know if he was going. If she was going to switch for to a different back to somebody else, I don't know, um, but here I'm going to send out my Mirror Jane, because I know she, uh, Mirror Jane can take any, um, Fire Blast, or even though if she was going to go with a Shadow Ball, it wouldn't have done anything, because, you, you know, you know, Togekiss is a normal type, I'm going to go with the Aura Sphere, I was debating whether to go with, um, Air Slash, just to see, just to make sure not, well, just not to show her that I had focused, uh, Aura Sphere, my bad. But, um, yeah, that was it. I went with Aura Sphere anyways. So she's going to send back out her Chandelier, and she's going to go with a Fire Blast. I think that's what she went with. And, um, I'm going I'm to keep going with Air Slash, and this is where, um, this is why I have Togekisses, because the Parahax, just, the method is great. I love, I love it. I love the Parahax method. Yeah, okay, so that's what I was doing there. And there we go, Chandelier is gone, and now she sends out her Mr. Krabs, and oh my god, this thing is just bulky as crap. So, you'll see here in a second. So, I send out my General Cross because, well, you know, I don't know, I thought I could could take that Stone Edge. I, I think I would have, but uh, she got a crit on me, so I'm going to keep, um, I live with 6 HP, that's good. Uh, as you can see, close combat. <clears throat> Excuse me. Close combat is really just not doing much at all. And she just goes with the, the toxic and well just I don't know if she didn't want to she don't want to take the chances of missing um um Stone Edge. So I uh, yeah, it doesn't matter. She got me there. I go with the close combat, and this is where I really screwed up with using him on top. I should have used see she, she gets to set up the rocks now. And that, that's what's really going to, you'll see later that'll take me out. I should have gone with the fake out, and I then I should have gone with the close combat, because then there would be no rocks, and she wouldn't have gotten that extra turn in there. So that that really was one of my other downfalls on this battle. And um, so she's going to send back out her Linoon, Pierre's, Pierre's, whatevs. And I'm going to send out Loxus, Laxus. And um, here I was, because... You can see the stones and the extreme speed really took out a lot of my damage. I go for the roost, and I forgot about Linoon's. I use Linoon a lot in Wi Fi battles. I forgot that most. I don't use Belly Drum though, but a lot of other people do in UU. And she's gonna go with the Belly Drum and then use extreme speed, and now that thing is pretty much OP as 
anything that you can find because you'll see here in a second even with even though they've got the stones up um, it's just it it's almost impossible to take out that Linoon and UU anyways now so you'll see the extreme speed will just rape my team and yeah that's pretty much it uh, and Mirror Jane was the, like my last hope up because of the stones yeah yada 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 and there you go. So good battle, Flossy, 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 Flossy. I didn't ask what your YouTube name was yet. It'll probably be in the description if she has one. So good battle, everybody, or good battle, everybody, all the Pokemans, everybody, all out there, all you, all you, everything, whatever they are. And uh, good job, Flossy, Flossy. See you later.